Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Minecraft News. I hope everybody's doing good. I'm alright myself. I'm still fighting this sickness, so I apologize if my voice sounds a little bad. Other than that, though, today's Minecraft News is going to be covering the latest pre-release for Minecraft, which is 1.10 pre-release 1. We're also going to be talking about news with the PE and Windows 10 edition, uh, the update 0.15. we got some other stuff to talk about as well, so we should go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to be talking about today is the Minecraft pre-release 1.10. And it's kind of crazy, to be honest with you, because we just got a pre-release. Like, that's really fast. So that makes me think that Minecraft is kind of switching up how they do updates. Rather than, you know, work on an update for six months out of the year and give us like a fully loaded, like, just, you know, jam-packed with content, you won't be able to play it all for a week type of update rather than doing that i think that they're going to start moving towards shorter releases aimed on certain things so for example this update i guess we could basically call this one the nether update uh, i mean there was other updates with it but for the most part nether was the main focus of this one and so personally i think i hope that they start doing this more i would rather see um three to five updates a year rather than one or two even if they're shorter and they have less content, that means that we're getting updated stuff. It's keeping the game, you know, uh, up to date, things like that. So, um, and the one thing you got to know with these pre-releases is that pre-releases don't have any new content. So pre-release one, any pre-releases that come after that are all going to be bug fixes. Now, I would say that the biggest bug fix in this whole entire thing is that the mobs no longer spawn on the lava blocks that you know you know people had made those huge huge mob generators and it was killing mobs instantly uh that no longer works i did hear that it's still a glitch where they still spawn on there but that is not a permanent feature so um i mean there's like a whole whole list of bug bug fixes i mean just looking at it, there's probably over 30 of them on the page here but with that being said, if you want to play the latest snapshot or the latest pre-release, uh, all you have to do is just click on your version of Minecraft, change it to that, and you're good to go. What do you guys think about these uh, these updates? Do you think that they should be shorter and more frequent or longer and have more content? I don't know, man. I think that the shorter ones are going to be better, to be honest with you. All right, guys, let's go ahead and talk about the Pocket Edition or Windows 10 Edition, whichever you prefer. Uh, I say both of those because uh, if you don't know this already, the Pocket Edition is Windows 10 Edition. They're the same thing. Uh, they update at the same time. They're pretty much the same same exact game. But um, one of the reasons why I think they're doing the pre-releases on the PC version so small is because I think that they're trying to catch the consoles editions. The console, the Pocket Edition, Windows 10 Edition... You know, whatever versions out there, I think that they're trying to get everything on a level playing field, which is which is cool because I might actually be interested in playing other types of this game if they were, you know, up to date like that. So 0.15 um, is coming out, you know, very soon. They don't exactly have a date yet. I don't think uh, I can check, but um, 0.15 is coming out very, very soon. Um, lots and lots of new features actually coming to this and and some of those include pistons and sticky pistons the observer block so if you don't know what the observer block is that's something that's coming into the pc version as well the observer block is a bud switch essentially so that's pretty cool that the pocket edition and window 10 edition is getting that as well uh xbox live achievements for ios and android um online multiplayer with xbox live leads and horses and diable horse armor that's pretty cool because that's something we don't even have in pc fire charges pig riding um husks strays and then looks like there's lots and lots of um lots of different changes there's more tweaks and bug fixes obviously with any any update you're going to see tons of bug fixes so uh, this is actually, you know, it, it's promising, like it's really promising because the fact that they're trying to catch up is uh, pretty cool because it's always been behind. So let me know what you think about that. In the final bit of news today, we're talking about the Telltale version of Minecraft, which is story mode. They have a new update or a new playable version coming out on June 7th, the next episode, essentially. 
Uh, and the cool part about this is that uh, there's actually going to be some YouTubers in this one. Um, Stampy Cat, uh, Stacy Plays, Dan the Diamond Minecart, uh, Shadow Lady, and Captain Sparkles are all going to be making um, uh, some cameos in this. And that's pretty cool that they're they're including YouTubers in this because that's what you guys relate to the most. You know, like, if this would have been something sort of like having Captain Sparkles run the whole thing, I think it would have done much better because people would want to play along with him knowing that he's there. You know what I'm saying? So having some star cameos like that is going to, I think it's going to help it out a lot. So if you are a uh, story mode episode player, make sure you get this on um, June 7th. Other than that, I think that's going to do it for the this episode of Minecraft News, guys. I hope you enjoyed Sorry for like my dull voice today. I just can't really talk very loud. Anyways, I uh, I'll see you later with another video. This is I Jimin. Peace out, guys.